what I will be doing in today's video is attempting to repair the bottom chassis case of my laptop. But quickly summing up the damage, it is regarding these little points here. This is what one of the uh, screw fixture points should look like. And what these points are, there's one there, one there, one there, one there. They're everywhere all over the bottom of the chassis. And what they are is when you put the case on, those points are these holes that you see here that you actually screw screws into to hold the bottom of the chassis onto uh, what would be the top part of the chassis if you were to have the notebook like that. So that's what these pins are. But now if we go around to the rear of the notebook, the rear of the notebook is here. This is where the hinges are. As you can see there, the point has broken off. And again, on the other side, the other point has also broken off, meaning that I can't screw it in here. So the case is like always a bit loose and a bit wobbly. So what I will be doing in this video is creating some sort of screw fixture point to where I could still screw both of these points in. I know that if you look at these holes here, you can see that the entire screw fixture post thing has been broken off and that's intentional. I actually did that. The original damage that was here and here, as already said, was basically one of these posts, but the end had completely come off it, meaning the screw could just drop straight through the hole and the screw would have nothing to screw onto. Therefore, it wouldn't hold the case together. So what I did was I actually carefully removed the post right down to the plastic, as you can see there. So it's level with the plastic and the reason why I remove the entire post is because I'm actually going to be using some brass standoffs to screw into these points here and then when I put the case back on I've actually got something for the screw to screw into because if I would have left the entire post there the standoff would have been too wide to actually fit through the post so I would have needed to remove it anyway which I have done so now I've got that explained, I'm now going to tell you how I'm going to repair it. What I'm going to be using is some 6mm standoffs that screw into here and then I'm going to put the case back on and I've got some little washers here to put on the outside of the laptop like that and then screw the screw in so the screw will be pushing up against the washer which is in turn pushing on the casing and holding it together. So that is how I'm going to make this repair. Now I know some people might be saying if I screw the standoff in and I then go ahead and screw the screw into the standoff but I screw the screw into the standoff that tightly that when I go to undo the screw it actually backs the standoff out of the hinge and how would I get the bottom of the laptop off. If I do tighten the screw in tight enough for the standoff to actually come out when unscrewing the screw then the standoff will simply just lift straight out of the hole without problem as I can prove to you there the standoff fits through the hole so if I were to unscrew the standoff I'd just be able to pull it through the hole and then I'd just be able to lift the bottom of the laptop off for those of you wondering what size of standoffs I am using I am using those they are an M 2.5 times 6 millimeter standoff and what that means is the thread width on them is 2.5 millimeters. That's the M2.5 in the name. And the height of the standoff is six millimeters. So that's what type of standoff I'm using. But as with every project, you should make sure you have got the correct thread of uh, either standoff or screw to actually screw into what you're screwing it into because you can get lots of different threads and if you get the wrong thread it won't fit but this laptop uses M2.5 screws all over it so that's what I got so what I'm going to do is just simply screw the standoff in there like that and now that one's screwed in I'm going to screw this one in so I'll just screw this one in and now I've screwed those in I can actually just put the bottom of the laptop back on as you can see I've got the standoff in there and then I'm going to use this larger washer to uh, basically hold the casing around the screw point so now I've got that washer on there what I'm going to be using is the original laptops m2.5 screw and a little m2.5 washer I'm going to put the screw through that washer 
And then once I've got the washer over the screw, I'm going to come in and screw in the screw over the top of the washer. So what's happening here is the little silver washer is increasing the diameter of like the area below the screw's head. And that means that this washer will be able to push up against this larger washer, meaning I'll be able to apply force uh, like where the larger washer is holding the case together. If I decided not to use a little silver washer, then the screw would just fall straight through the larger washer so the little silver screw is simply to make the what would effectively make the head of the screw a little bit wider so it's able to contact the black washer and then apply pressure where i need it now i've got all of that said and done let's just get on to actually putting the base of my laptop back on and let's begin Right, there's a chassis held together, so now I need to screw these in. This is so fiddly, it's tiny. And yes, I know the metal washer will probably end up marking the plastic, but uh, to be honest, I'm not really that bothered about that because no one's going to look at the bottom of a laptop. So now I need to hold the other one in. Thank God I have got this little box because if I hadn't, that would have gone everywhere. Right, so now I need to put the other one in. There's a laptop chassis held back together in these two corners where the broken uh, structure points were. So that's good. Now I just need to screw all the rest of the screws in, including these little tiny screws. Like they're tiny. Let's begin screwing all of these in. There's my laptop screwed back together. Now I can just put these away. Uh... So here I am, moment of truth. When I lift up the display, will the back of the case pop open like it used to? Look at that, it doesn't. That means my repair has actually worked. And now let's try the other side of the laptop just to make sure. Look at that, oh it's held together. Oh yes, my ingenious repair that you can see there and there means it actually works. That's good. That means I can use my laptop again without needing to worry about the case like popping open at the back like it used to after those structure points broke. And for those wondering about appearance, well, what does it matter? Because they're on the bottom of the laptop, so no one's ever going to see them unless you show them. And I mean, it's not like it's a bad job anyway. It looks pretty neat, but still, no one's ever going to see it because it's on the bottom of the laptop. But that has been it for this video. This video was mainly focused around my sort of DIY repair that I would say is somewhat professional because I use professional parts such as standoffs and screws and washers. So it's not like I hot glued it together or anything. Uh, but yeah, that's what this video has been about. And was it a success from what I've just seen? Yes, it was. But not only was this DIY repair a success, I'm also going to go and say that now I'm actually using a brass standoff and screws and washers and metal components, this is probably stronger than the original screw fixture anyway, because before it was just that like little plastic point that I showed you other ones on the bottom of the case that just broke off. I believe that this uh, repair is actually stronger than the original manufactured uh, screw fixture point anyway. That's been it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, give it a like. If you haven't, then give it a dislike. Comment, favorite, share, and subscribe. I have not said that outro in a while, but I'll keep it in because why not? Anyway, thank you for watching.